Today I'm sharing my very first coral purchase from Tidal Gardens, the coral seller that I get most of my coral reference photos from for my art, and one of the corals that I've drawn from their artist reference photos. I was hoping to have a bear painting finished for you guys this week. It didn't happen. I'm working on this guy here. So for those of you on Patreon, I have the lesson on how to do that both with and without an airbrush, but I did have a pretty exciting week when it came to corals. So I thought I would share that and a past video where I drew corals from the same color, cor cor what? Coral vendor, coral seller, coral grower, all the things, Tidal Gardens here on YouTube. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the coral story and coral artwork. There is a reef keepers forum that I spent a lot of time lurking on called Reef to Reef. There was also a huge Tidal Gardens sale on their forum. My last batch of coral was out of quarantine, so it was a perfect time to buy some new mushrooms. For this sale, every four to six minutes, a new batch of coral was offered for sale. You had to buy it quick before someone else got what you wanted. So the sale went on for about five hours. It was taking place during the time I was supposed to be cleaning my house. So what should have taken me two hours to clean actually took closer to six or seven because every few minutes I ran back to the computer to see what new stuff was posted. It was weirdly one of the most fun days I've had in a really long time. Clean the bathtub, run to check on corals, wipe down the counter, run back and check on sale corals. I got so many steps in that day just from running back and forth all over the house so that I could keep checking on whatever corals were available. Here are photos taken by Tidal Gardens of the coral that I bought. If you're an artist who enjoys painting marine work, you can get photos like this using your own work by signing up for Tidal Gardens Patreon. For as little as $5 a month, you get over 50 high resolution photos of various corals every single month. I've been a member for a couple of years now. Let me tell you, it is so, so worth it. I will put a link to their Patreon in the video description, just in case any of you are interested in those. The sale took place on Saturday. That Monday, Tidal Gardens got all of my coral packed up and ready to head from Ohio all the way down to Texas. The bat cow hung out with me while we patiently or not so patiently stared out the window waiting for the UPS driver to deliver our goods. Now that they are here, it's time to get these guys out of the box and acclimated into my coral quarantine tank with my little shrimp. After they were acclimated and dipped, they are now in my coral quarantine tank along with the other corals being quarantined. So that resets the time. We're gonna keep them in here for the next six weeks. And then all of these guys, once that time is up, will get moved into the 83 gallon reef aquarium. Here is everything under the white light. You can see there's a lot more coral in there than it looks like under the blue. But these are mostly mushrooms, a few zoas. Those will be moved over shortly. I'm so excited. 
If you are supporters over on Patreon, make sure to head over where you've got the two and a half hour version of this demonstration that you can follow along with if you would like to draw this Acropora coral that we're going to be jumping into here in colored pencils. If you are unfamiliar with Patreon for as little as $4 a month, you get access to all of my longer tutorials. I have a new one every single week. And as soon as you sign up, you get instant access to over 200 available for you right now. If you are not sure if Patreon will be a fit for you, head over to my Patreon video library. The link is in the video description where you can see what I have available and a free two hour colored pencil demonstration. the 83 gallon, this is a Planet Aquarium tank. Put the orange filter on here so you can see the coral in a somewhat more accurate view. We've got some zoophrags in here. Those are actually a bright, almost hot pink when you look at them under the blues. So the color is going to be a bit off just because I've got to have an orange filter in here to cut down on the, or the blue lights, but it gives you a general idea of the state the tank is currently in. We've got some diatoms going there that are starting, I hope, to slow down. That's part of the ugly stage of a new tank. We've got lots of mushrooms. Those are my absolute favorite coral, so most of this tank will probably end up being mushrooms. Mushrooms and zoas. And some more zoas down here. So you can see I've got plenty of room both to let these grow out and to fit in a few more mushrooms and zoas. And there's the entire tank taking off the orange filter. And we've got the quarantine tank over in the side. There is my office. Have you subscribed yet? If not, I have a handy button right there. It's round, has an orange arrow going towards it. If you click on that, that'll help you to keep up to date with all of my new art videos every single week. You may also wanna click on the bell notification icon because YouTube does not notify people anymore when new videos go up or when live streams are up. And you can sign up for my email newsletter. I send out a newsletter once a week, giving you some artist motivation and letting you know whatever live streams and videos I have going up that week. 